for the sign of Aquarius. Hello and welcome to my channel. We've got the Ace of Pentacles and it's paired with a Tower card. Now, this Ace of Pentacles is beautiful. Yeah, it looks like a brand new day. I don't know if you can see the picture really well, but there's a squirrel out there and he's just hanging hanging around this pinnacle. It, you know what it, this card looks like? It just rained really heavy all day and all night, maybe for, maybe for a couple of days. And it just feels like the earth is cleansed. It just feels like a new, a new day. That's what this card, that's what the picture looks like on this card. And the squirrel, it looks like he finally came out from the rain. And he's realizing, wow, this is a brand new beginning. The rain has stopped and it's just wonderful. I wish you, I hope, uh, if you could see the look on this squirrel's face, it just looks like he's at an awe. Like finally, wow, and it's new. Everything's fresh and new again. So this could be you, Aquarius, coming up for June. You're like the squirrel here. Now with the Ace of Pentacles, it's likely you'll find you're enjoying new beginnings on several levels. And this is a very positive new beginning. You'll be feeling really strong, upbeat, optimistic, and hopeful about the future. Things should be going really well. You could also be starting something new very soon. And this could be in the realm of work. Or it could be personally. Either way, with this Ace of Pentacles, it's a good thing. So, it's paired with the tower, though. Now, this tower card, tower, the tower card means that you could be holding too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. It's important to roll with the changes. It could be likely that some people's situations that you counted on as being there for you, they may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now, this doesn't have to be drastic or dire because change, it really is the nature of life. And if we try to prevent it, guess what's going to happen? It's going to be like trying, trying to roll upstream without a paddle. Also, if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down to earth. And that's only going to be a problem if you let it be. You'll be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals if some fantasies do fall apart this month. So keep in mind, dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in a reality too. So basically, coming up towards the end of May, like I said, could go into June, Ace of Pentacles could be a new love or some type of beautiful brand new beginning, a fresh start, but something comes crashing down. You're enlightened by some disaster. So I know these two cards is pretty vague. We need more clarity and we're going to get it. We'll recap this reading at the end. And we'll pull these two cards back together to get the full picture. So for now, we'll move on over and we'll take a look at how they see you. Now, the person you're dealing with, Aquarius, they see you like the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Swords. The Ace of Cups is also a beautiful card. Very powerful card in the tarot, especially when it comes to love, happiness, affection. Once again, it's about new beginnings, and it usually means love. It usually means love, but it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. Things are looking up. People will respond to you with happiness, love, goodwill, more than usually at this time so you'll be feeling good about life overall 
This is a good time to make friends also. Yeah. So this is another great new start. Yeah, this is one of the ways they see you. They're, they see you as a deep attraction. Very warm. And they also see you like this Knight of Pen Knight of Swords. Sorry, Knight of Swords. Yeah, this man, he's on a, he looks like he's on some type of, ooh, is that a, what is that? A goat? I don't know what that is. He's on an animal. And it looks like he's in the mountains and he's in the air. But anyway, he's charging in really fast. This Knight of Swords is about action, planning, being really impulsive. It brings a fairly upbeat, cheerful energy. It can mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. It points to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're likely to like what you hear. This card, it points to a lot of activity, travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished, and you will not feel like waiting for anything to come to you and that's a good thing you'll be going after your heart's desire so it's about being swept off your feet whether you're a male or a female yeah so they see you wanting to come in and take action in a, in a great way you want to possibly sweep them off their feet and with the ace of cups they see you as very warm, and there's a deep attraction there. So, yeah, deep attraction with the Ace of Cups. And they see you wanted to take action towards them in a good way. Now, we'll move on over and take a look at how you see them. So, you see them like the Page of Wands. And the Six of Pentacles. Now the Page of Wands. Page of Wands are warm, ambitious, and they're usually high achievers. If it's not an actual person, it can indicate the energy of easy distraction. So it's about trying to stay focused. It's indicating that things that you started some time ago, they're starting to come to fruition. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. This page, it brings positive energy, but we have to supply the follow-through. So, you see them as possibly a new suitor. Yeah, a new suitor with whom you have a lot in common with. And they're probably really adventuresome. They're excited to come towards you. Very excited. And they're ready to take action too. They got a lot of passion. Uh, you see them having a lot of passion for you, Aquarius. Now, because it's with the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is a sign for... It's a sign. It's showing that there's a turn for the better particularly when it comes to money because when you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot that means coins cash finance income so it's a term for the better when it comes to money it's one of the most positive or the more positive pinnacle cards in the tarot it's about equality fairness the nature of life so you're heading into a positive cycle, not just a positive day or a time, but a whole cycle. The Six of Pentacles is a card about generosity, meaning that you are either about to become the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So share what you have because there's always someone who needs it. Yeah, now this is um, an interesting card. 
So, once again, you see them like the Page of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. So, like I said, they got a lot of passion for you with this Page of Wands. They're excited to come towards you. Very excited. And I'm picking up that this Six of Pentacles. Hmm. Someone generous. You're dealing with someone who's very generous. Yeah. And they probably are very... Hmm. You see them as, as prosperity. They're probably financially stable. Now for us, so some of you Aquarius, I'm picking up the... Yeah, some of you Aquarius got a sugar daddy here. Hmm. That's what, yeah, that's what I'm picking up. So, some of you got a sugar daddy, and he's very, looks like he's generous with you. So, you'll be the beneficiary of something of value. And like I said, when you hear the word pinnacles, that's money, coins, cash, finance. So, you go ahead on, I ain't mad at you. Now, let's take a look at why it's happening. Now, we got the Devil card. And it's with the Four of Pentacles. So, this Devil card, that's another interesting card in the tarot. You probably can't see the picture so too well because it's kind of dark brown and black, it looks like. But I'll explain it to you. Just remember, no matter what your situation, you always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, be sure you come to it on your own regardless. It's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You may have a feeling now that you're not in control of your life with this devil card showing up here. Sometimes this can happen as a result of your own actions, but more often as a byproduct of inaction. So take action, take whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if it's merely making a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Small steps are important. So, one of the reasons why it's happening is because of this devil card. Someone has devil energy. There's devil energy here in this reading. Devil energy could be addictions, greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust. Somebody could be an alcoholic. Abusing drugs, addictions. A troll is an is a, um, a troll. You know that word we use when people are bothering other people for no reason. The person hasn't done anything to them. They just want to make their life hell. That's a troll. That's devil energy. So there's some type of devil energy here. In this reading. Now this is one of the reasons why it's happening. Now the other reason why it's happening is because of the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles, as you can see in the picture, this man, he's on all fours. He's got his hands on his money and his feet on his money. Okay? His, his eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head. And his brain, actually, it looks like it's about to explode. I don't know if you can see the picture really well. But this Four of Pentacles, it, it's a card about holding on to things, people, money, situations, longer than it's healthy, longer than it's realistic. So when this card appears, it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. If others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. Now this four of pinnacles, it points to anxiety and fear. And or clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. The key here is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping 
it does not bring security. Wow. Okay. So, got the devil energy for why it's happening. Addictions. And then, with this Four of Pentacles, there's some unhealthy clinging. Some firm resistant to change with the Four of Pentacles. So, what we'll do is re, we'll re, recap this reading so that we can get the full picture right now. So, for the present time, like I said, we got this beautiful new day. It's a brand new day. <laughs> it just squirrels just ready to come out and play. And that's you. That's you, Aquarius. But then you're hit with some tower moment. Okay. And you're awakened by some disaster. Now, your person you're dealing with, they see you as very warm um, with the Ace of Pentacles. Well, not the Ace of Pentacles, but the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Swords. That's how they see you. So the Ace of Cups, they see you as a, there's a deep attraction there. And they see you bringing a lot of warmth. Warmth. Okay. And the Knight of Swords, they see you ready to come in and take action right away. There's no second guessing or anything. You're charging and you, you want to come you want to come towards them really fast. And then you see them as this page of wands and six of pentacles. So you see them as being very generous. Like I said, a lot of you or a lot of you, this is a sugar daddy. So this person is very passionate about you very passionate with the this this page of wands here and um they're uh, very excited about you they're they're anxious to come towards you and they're very generous yep you'll be the beneficiary of something of value okay and like i said um, then the, the, um, the devil card and the four of pentacles is here. So this person that you're dealing with, it looks like he's got or she, she could, she, could be he or she, uh, they have some addictions. They, they bring addictions to this connection. Or... This could be you, Aquarius. Okay, I mean, we all have addictions, so. If it's you, it's something that you gotta work on. Um, yeah. So this could be you, Aquarius, or your sugar daddy, if that's what it is. If that's what this person is, sugar daddy, sugar mama. Got addictions. And there's some unhealthy cleaning. So if this is your person that's um, being very generous with you, a lot of times they cling on to the money. They don't let it go as easy as you would want them to be generous towards you, okay? They hold on really tight sometimes. And it causes tower moments, like we talked about in the present time. So, this connection comes crashing down a lot of times because they do a lot of unhealthy clinging and they have addictions that brings problems to this connection. So, sometimes they're not as generous. They cling on really tight to their pinnacles and it probably frustrates you. Because we got bills to be paid. Okay, so you get you got some tower moments with your person, with this person that's generous. Because um, sometimes, like I said, they're not as generous as you'd like for them to be. And then they got addictions. Or, like I said, this could be you with addictions, Aquarius. And 
You do unhealthy clinging. There's some unhealthy clinging to this person. Okay, you're, you're holding on really tight to this person in an unhealthy way. Okay, and it causes tower moments with you and this, this generous person. So, yeah, but they're very passionate about you. They like coming towards you, and there's warmth and attraction here with this Ace of Cups. And it looks like you're always excited to come towards them. But there's some unhealthy clinging here and some devil energy. And you get a lot, a lot of tower moments in this connection. 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 